that's what's that's, up. That's what's going to bring me peace, man. That's what's they up. say if you can save one out of a bunch, you did your job. I'm mm. trying to save two. Mm. You want to go You want to go above and beyond, huh? Somebody did it for me. Shout out to Mr. Rotten. Just met Mr. Rodney, man. Mr. I, I, you read my mind, cause I was gonna say, Rodney, who man. was your mentor, man? Tell me about Mr. Rodney, man. Oh, just genuine person, man. As yeah. far as giving, you know, yeah. Like, again, not monetary, like he gave time. Yeah. He get that that talk, that speech, that understanding. Mm -hmm. And he give you time. Mm -hmm. to, to come along. Like, he caught me when I was about eleven years old, like smoking weed, but I could hoop. Come hoop. Every time he seen me, come hoop. Come hoop. Every time he see me do something wrong, he tell me about it. He ain't trying to whoop me. Mm -hmm. Just good conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, good conversation go a long way. That conversation <clears throat> was big. I, I, I think, too, also, you know, that that's a missing between, you know what I'm saying? I always be saying it between the youth and the, you know what I'm saying? So somewhere, you know, like somebody dropped the ball or Cause uh, you know the communication is gap we is gone. Yeah. Yeah. We want to blame our parents for, you know, not everybody's parents, but that yeah, area we, for being on crack and this and that. Though, what 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 was we on? Right. We smoked weed right. coming up. We dealt with a little banana red coming up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Booms for them, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. but they took the discipline out of our lives in school and everywhere else when we was coming up. That's, mm. that's where we dropped the ball at. Mm. We ain't had that discipline. So we we need to implement that back into the game, man, because that's, that's going to be huge further down the line. Yeah. And not only that, a lot, of, a lot of it is too is respect, man. There's a lot of respect out here. Because, you know what I mean, respect, bro, like respect, you just understand, man, respect. I changed so many different situations, man. You know what I'm saying? The people just got on a respect level. You ain't got to like what a motherfucker do or like what they say. But you got respect. They view them. If everybody had this little bit of respect, bro, they're trying to hold that shit, bro. That's what's lacking, man, period. Respect. Because we all individuals, right? So we ain't all going to be totally like-minded. Right. You know what I mean? There's different ways to get from point a to point b man uh, yeah your way is not the only way mm -hmm. your way is the right way yeah, for it's you. not the only way yeah, it's the right way for you yes right but we try to conform people to us whereas yeah. we're all individuals and if we share our 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 truths mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna get some out of it you know what i mean we're gonna take some away that that's the other people i want to i ain't trying to rob nobody but those are the only people I want to be around is people that I can feed and that can feed me. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not necessarily like-minded individuals, but like-minded individuals. Yeah, kind of. or, or people, you know, that you can gain knowledge from that yes, you've got different perspectives. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You might not have seen yes, some a certain way, might, you know what I'm saying? Just how you open up your mind and how you look at that shit a total different way. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like hanging around, you know, <laughs> you and, you know, a few other folks. You know, kind of open my mind up to a different, mm -hmm. different, you know, mindset or whatever. You got to be open to change, first of all. Mm -hmm. Some people want to change but don't know how to change. Mm -hmm. You got to be open again, to change bro. first. Say that part again. You got to be open to change. Open to change, man. Everybody be so closed off. Yeah. Everybody be so blocked in, boxed in. Yeah, complacency ain't really good. I don't, I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? I don't think complacency at any age or any level is, is good, man. I know it ain't for me. I was I was complacent for a very long time. I'm still complacent. <laughs> I'm listening though. You know what I mean? I was complacent for a very long time. Yeah, man. me too. I mean, complacent is comfortable, right? Would you say that? It's you comfortable. Kinda... It, it might minimize your stress being complacent or whatever, but you don't maximize your potential. Bars. He said he got bars. <laughs> he did say that earlier. Bars, man. I mean, complacency will keep you safe, you know, and yeah. keep, keep a roof over your head. Yeah. And keep you, but it'll keep you living and keep but, you together. But, but is, that li is that really living, though? It just depends. I mean, we thought it was for a minute, obviously. <sighs> you just said it. We all individuals, though. What worked for you might not work for the next man. Uh, we, we, yeah, he said it again. Mm. Respect it. Have somebody doing something. Yeah. Just because it's working for him don't mean it's going to work for me and Antoine. Mm -hmm. But, again, 
I just said I'm listening. So <laughs> if you keep your ears open, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And have that open mindedness, you might learn something, you might take something away from somebody that's speaking some goodness, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? That you might need, that mm-hmm. you might not have had. Like, Yes, sir. Sometimes you need a little bit of stress in your life to push you to change. You especially open to change. Yeah. That's where my stress comes from. Yes, sir. A lot of change. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But what you gonna do? I want to change. I want to do different shit because I'm not happy with being, you know, in the positions I be in. I always want to do better. So it comes with the game. We met Mr. Rodney. Remember Mr. Rodney when we were at the at the uh, stop the violence thing over in the, on the west side that we went to. The, the the dude that was hosting the the referee of the he's basketball. A pre- he's a preacher. He's a preacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's yeah. who he talk about. Oh, okay. That's yeah, who he talk he about. Passed? No, 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 no. But that's just oh, somebody okay, that okay, mentored okay, him. Okay, yeah, my man. Mentor yeah, him yeah, when he was dope. young. Yes, yeah, sir. that was dope. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's yeah, who yeah, mentored yeah. him. Yeah, uh, Mr. Rodney. Yeah, for sure. You know, and that ties in too, man. Uh, cause be busy, man. You know what I'm saying? You go here and answer. Yeah. You're gonna see how cold it is. <laughs> but the but yeah. but the thing about Mr. Rodney, man, um, I feel like we can all be mentors to the youth and to each other, right? Mm-hmm. Like we can all learn from each other. Like if we if we bond together, I think Jason said it the best. It's like Voltron, man. Yeah, we better off together than separate. Before money, what was they doing? Quick question. Money, they work that? together. They work together. If you know how to do something, and you know how to do something, mm-hmm. you need his services. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how they pay. Yeah. So why can't you do that with everything? Yeah, you know? yeah. Like that. swap service. Yeah. Why well, got to be about a dollar all the time? Yeah. The you honor know, system. Somebody can show you how to get a dollar. Yeah. The correct way. Yeah. Some way decent, the way you ain't got to act a fool trying to get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it keep down the stress. Keep down the stress. Keep you safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From yeah. a certain standpoint, because anything can happen any given day. I know that for sure now. But you definitely know that now. <laughs> and that, that woke me up, cuz. Because it was just like, damn, man, when you told me about it, it was just like, man, I ain't, I ain't had no idea. Like, I didn't know he was sick. He wasn't sick. This shit just happened. Life, man. Life, life, life is something else. Just the man house, uh, searching. I was searching his house because he couldn't find something. I found the key over his back door to where his son was letting himself back in the house after he said he couldn't go out. We sat out there and laughed about that. Mm-hmm. And the next phone call I get was from his uh, cousin saying he was in the hospital, man. And I broke down. He wasn't dead yet, but he was in the hospital fighting that stroke. I know what that feel like. Mm-hmm. I broke down. Six hours later, they said he was gone. Like they, they crushed me. Mm-hmm. But that was that's family to me. Like. Mm-hmm. So we go from my cousin to my cousin to my my other cousin to my partner. Like just in four years, like out the blue type, like. That every day ain't promise, man. Tomorrow could be something else, like so. Feed yourself, man. And when when I say feed yourself, I mean open up your ears, mm-hmm. open up your eyes. You know what I mean? Get what you can out of folk. Like I said, that I keep saying it because I really and truly believe that. It. it ain't about monetary. Mm-hmm. It ain't about no money. It ain't about what somebody can give you when they giving you knowledge and gain. Mm. For your survival. Mm. I got another partner. A shout out to him. Maurice Cove. Mm. Uh, he taught me a lot. At 30 years old. Because he a true survivalist. He asked me what I was going to do. If you know I was in the bushes. And, and, and couldn't uh, go to the bathroom. like And flush the toilet. Like, how am I going to survive. If you know I can't go to the grocery store. And. And buy the meat. What I'm going to do? Like, he, he mm. got bow and arrows and mm. tents and he ready. Like, mm. he ain't no weird guy. It's just how he think, how he move. Like, 
I got something out of that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I want to talk to him. I'm sure. He's <laughs> 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 deep, though. Like, but yeah. Shout out to Maurice, yeah, man. Shout out that's, to Maurice. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you can grab something from everybody. Everybody got a talent. A lot of people don't want to hear about it because they so caught up in what they want to do. Like, you can do mo- much more. Mm-hmm. If you pay attention to what somebody else doing, not copycat. Mm. But just if they trying to give it to you, take it. Take For that sure. game. For sure. Take that knowledge and, and, and see if you can apply it to what you're already doing and make your situation a little better. It's key, man. I love we, it. As black folk, we dying behind stress. Mm. Behind not knowing. Behind not having. Mm. But we got it all. We just ain't taking advantage of it. I hope y'all listening, man. Sorry. God, I hope y'all hey, listening. Me, y'all. Yeah, Sorry. I'm glad you came, man. I'm glad you came. I'm a thinker first. I love it, man. I love it. Back to Paul O'Neill, because you know he was number 21. You say you met him too, right? Yeah, Kenwood Mom. <laughs> How was that? Hey, that's funny, because somebody going to watch this that I done told this story to. Whatever was with me just go flip out. So how was that, cuz? Plain clothes. Like, didn't nobody know who he was but me. Mm. The shortest shorts, John Stockton. Mm. He had on some of them in a the polo <laughs> neck. <laughs> but I knew who he was. You remember? So I walks up to him and I say, Paul O'Neill. Because I, I, ain't nobody over there by him, you know. Mm-hmm. A celebrity, a, right. a superstar, you know. Mm-hmm. You know how, he can't go to the mall. Right. He in the mall. Wow. Well, I'm trying to buy me a, a pair of Nikes or something. Mm-hmm. I see him. Mm. I, walk, I did like this. I know his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't had nothing for him to sign. Like, wow. I Damn. shook his hand, though. Like, that was all you needed. Yeah. But I ain't the type that ain't wash my hand after I shook it. Right. <laughs> this, was, weird yeah, this was like 97. Right, like, right. He probably had COVID. Ooh, <laughs> dang, not 97. <laughs> so I met Paul O'Neill. Yes, sir. And this is funny, too, because my boy, like, dude, was crazy. Like, I am no. Mm-hmm. I want to meet Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. but that's for a different reason. And I want to meet T.I. for a different reason. Mm. And it ain't got nothing to do with, like, me meeting Paul O'Neill. I'll try one of them little motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, though. This will take you out one. Oh, man. Oh, That's oh, some little motherfuckers. Oh, man. That's funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. <coughs> T.I. and Lil Wayne, he said, man. You talking about all this shit, man. Mm. Man. <laughs> That's yeah, what's up, man. man. So, man, what we going what, what to do for this Thursday nighter, man? I'm, I'm, I'm geek for the Thursday nighter, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this Thursday morning. Thursday. You ain't a Bengals fan, so I don't expect you I'm, to be I'm, I, I hope they win. I, I should hope you know so, man. I hope they win, but i just been disappointed about you, it. You, you, who your fan? Who your team football? You got one? Just, just Yankees and Paul O'Neill, huh? <laughs> Basketball. Basketball. Okay, now look. This is it. This is the only. This is the only thing he brought it up. This is the only thing I don't like about my cousin. He, he's not a hater. What's another word for a hater? Damn. Because he's not a hater. He strongly dislikes my favorite basketball player of right now. I want to say a hater. Well, he's uh, a strong opinionated. Strong opinion. I think you are too, though. Well, against LeBron. I mean, he's cool, but I just think he's just, just man. He's a great basketball he's a great athlete, player, man. Bro, he going down top five dead or alive. I ain't saying that. I'm, I'm not saying that, bro. But yeah. I don't know. Now listen to his opinion. Tell me what you think about LeBron, Cuz. I don't like him. <laughs> Why don't you I like don't him? Think he cool. I don't know him. But I don't like him. You used to, you used to love him though. Ain't no, way, ain't, no way, ain't no way you gonna hold a press conference <laughs> and tell somebody you're going somewhere else. And then where you go, niggas is kissing your mamas and all that weird. I don't like that. Like, and 
He got stipulations on how you go move on his team. Mm, that's that's part of the reason why, I, like I said, man, you mess LeBron, man, you be in an unemployment line, man. That's what we're doing. You be out, you be ostracized, bro. Man, I ain't gonna tell you what else I think about. Him. Yeah, don't say all that other extra stuff. I've heard it. Before. I, I, I think I think when you dealing with him, it's just too political. That's that yeah. that that's. That's the best way I could put it. Man, it's too political. That's the type of shit he be on. He wants you to do what he wants you to do, like mm -hmm. he your daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he right though. But Man. you only do that, but the, the killers though. Right. The, the motherfuckers that are challenging. He ain't gonna do they it. be gone. They out they the door. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, listen, I ain't never knocked this hoop game. No. Nah. But after Cleveland, the first stint, I was done with him. Wait. He got four rings. Out of how many? How many Michael Jordan got? He made it to he out of how many? He made it to the finals like and I ain't never seen nobody pick straight. I ain't never seen nobody pick squad like dodgeball and shit, man. What's what part of the game is that, bro? Ooh, it's entertainment. I don't watch it, so it's entertainment. I'm glad I go to work. I love at, hoop, but I root against I'm, the Lakers. I'm glad I go to work at ten o'clock in the morning because I'm be up watching all them West Coast. West would run around the dress. You know why? Because LeBron bought it for <laughs> He 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 picks winners. That's what he want to play with. He don't want to play with no trash. So for entertainment value, for his value, he wants to pick winners. He wants to play with nothing but winners. You cool with that? I ain't it's no. entertainment at okay. the end of the day. Okay. But I'm saying I was an NBA fan at one point in time, mm -hmm. and for that fact is why it's part of the reason why I don't watch NBA. You see what I'm saying? He so started I don't think a trend. It's good. I don't think it's good for basketball. I just don't think it's good for the league. He started. I think they win. I mean, we'll see. I mean, shout out to the NBA. They coming back real soon, too, man. But oh, you down. $50 there on me. $50? Man, I'm not smart. betting no money. Why not? We could bet. So, man, we talk, we're talking. No, we ain't talking shit. We got me out here on this TV. Man, I ain't betting on me. How do y'all shine through the pain, man? How do you shine through the pain, cuz? shoulders but I can help you out some kind of way and maybe you can help me out because this thing they call it the game of life it ain't no game man we all need support and help man I want to be on the front line of uh, helping folk man and that's gonna help me shine through man I ain't never had a problem with nothing outside of losing people the same life I lost my family I feel like Hey, we didn't give a shout out, man. Shout out to your daughters, man. Four daughters, man. Charlotte, Dave, T, and the new addition, Brooke. Shout out four girls, That's man. That's my next tattoo because they all looked alike at, at birth. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put my daughters on my arm, man. And, and, and I shine you know, with them through mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. But I want to be here for, for the masses. Yes, like sir. I said, if you just getting a little bit, it's enough. Mm. It ain't gonna take up my whole day. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm here for the help, man. That's how I shine, man. And, and I, I appreciate you gentlemen having me on, man. For yeah. sure. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you, sure. cuz. I really yeah. appreciate it, man. Uh, I sat here and, and drove 20 minutes telling myself it's some bullshit. <laughs> I don't be on it, though. Mm -hmm. But. I really enjoyed myself, man, because I, I, it's something new. Yes, sir. Something different. Yes, sir. I learned something just coming out here. Mm -hmm. I learned the game's been good. The game's been good. <laughs> just <laughs> coming out here. The hey, game's okay, been good, man. That's what's up, man. You want me to go, bro? Oh, whatever, man. I'm going to shine regardless, man. I'm going to shine through the... We shine regardless, man. We're gonna shine like new money all the time, man. We, we don't worry about nothing, man. Yes, We're sir. gonna do what make us happy, you know what I mean? It's gonna it's gonna resonate, it's gonna reflect. Mm-hmm. That's how we're gonna shine. Yes, man. sir. I shine through the pain, man, by just staying active. Just moving, which is why I'm about to go ride my bike at nine thirty, man, you know what I'm saying? And try to feel my fill it out a little bit. 
Stay active, man. Stay busy. Keep moving. Because we can all lay down, man. We can all give up. But why take control of something that's out of your control anyway? We're going to all get out of here. That's a given. So you might as well rock this shit out. You might as well live your life. The one life you got. And live it the best way that you know how. The best way that you feel. The best way that you can. That's all I got, man. Sure. Thank y'all, man. Episode 21. Look out for episode 22 coming to you real soon. Thank you to my cousin, man. My family. 21. Yes, sir. Paulo Neal. Paulo Neal. Golly. Yes, sir. Peace, man. Peace.